Once we verify so you know you're getting all the facts and tonight we're focused on a huge announcement from President Biden. I'm announcing a pardon for all prior federal offense, federal offenses for the simple possession of marijuana. There are thousands of people who are convicted for marijuana possession who may be denied employment, housing or educational opportunities as a result of that conviction. All right, so we went straight to the proclamation to verify what this does. The pardons apply to anyone previously charged, prosecuted, or convicted of simple possession of marijuana under federal or D.C. law. Now, this only applies to citizens and lawful permanent residents. There will be an application process to apply for a pardon, and this will be run through the U.S. Attorney General acting through the pardon attorney. People who get a pardon will have their full political, civil, and other rights restored. And by the way, the White House acknowledging tonight nobody is in prison just for simple possession of marijuana. Well, let's be clear, though. This move is a second chance for thousands because mm -hmm. it wipes those previous convictions off their records. John Henry has a look at what this means in our area. The White House says this will impact at least 6,500 people across America convicted on federal charges for simple possession, while thousands of additional people, once convicted by law here in D.C., will be affected too. As for Maryland and Virginia, what will happen there is a little more unclear. Maryland voters are already scheduled to vote on whether to legalize recreational marijuana next month. Plus, they decriminalized the substance in 2014. Virginia already allows adults to possess up to one ounce of that substance. Both governor's offices say they're looking into the president's actions. Now, some people are very happy about the racial equity implications of this announcement. In 2018, the ACLU found blacks were more likely to be arrested for possession in both Maryland and Virginia. D.C. didn't provide data. The Marijuana Policy Project hopes Biden's decision will right some wrongs. An acknowledgement by the president of the United States that nobody should be in jail, nobody should be in prison, over something that is legal in the majority of our states right now. That is welcome news and welcome change. But both she and D.C. marijuana activist Adam Eidinger feel more can be done. Eidinger believes cannabis manufacturers should be pardoned too. Possession is not really a crime. Almost nobody gets charged with it. They always usually get charged and convicted with more serious crimes. Now, additionally, if marijuana is descheduled, D.C. could potentially be allowed to regulate and sell the substance.